Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Hermela, and if you guys are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today's video, I have something super exciting. I will be using the Supersonic hair dryer from Dyson, and I've been using it for the last few weeks, and I have not looked back. I'm so excited to show you guys how I use it on my hair. My curls have been looking so, so defined. Lots of volume, even on a day one or day two hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair and show you all the products that I use, and then show you all the techniques, the settings that I use when using the hair dryer. I'm very excited to show you guys this. So if you are interested to see the tutorial, go ahead and keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy. After I jumped out of the shower, I went ahead and I put this microfiber towel from Acquise, I believe is how you say it on, just so that I wouldn't leave the house soaking wet behind me. So my hair currently has no products in it. It has gotten super long and it's actually in due for a trim. But today I'm gonna to go ahead and show you guys exactly how I style it and what products I use. To be honest, my curly hair routine has not changed that much. That's why I haven't been doing a lot of curly hair videos here on YouTube. But I'm gonna be using all of my Holy Grail products that you guys have been seeing me use just to show you guys the results that I've been getting with products that I'm using on a daily basis. So for leave-in conditioner, I'm using the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it, but first I need to go ahead and add more water to my hair. It was sitting in the towel for a little too long, so I like to apply my hair while it's soaking wet. Now that I'm done applying the leave-in conditioner and the styling cream, I use the Denman brush to go ahead and evenly distribute the products throughout my hair. I really like to curl the end to give it some more definition and a bit more of that ringlet type of pattern. So I just do it a few times and then I move on to the next section. Okay, so I'm done styling my hair. I showed you guys all the products I used. I went ahead and defined by finger coiling my hair as well to get some more definition. I don't like waiting too long before I start diffusing, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I have the Supersonic Dyson hair dryer here with me. I wanted to show you guys that the diffuser attachment is actually magnetic, so you will not lose that. It is on there, it's awesome. It has three airflow settings and three heat settings as well. For airflow, I tend to keep it on the first one, and for the heat setting, I go between the first and the second. And then also, it has a cool shot, um, and yeah, it has an awesome heat control system, so it controls the heat temperature, so it doesn't allow it to get too hot, which helps you to prevent any type of heat damage and leaves your hair feeling shiny with really good definition and results. Um, it also has been helping with quickening up my diffusing time. Before I was diffusing for literally felt like forever, but this Dyson hair dryer has really, really shortened that time and it has made my wash days more bearable. I just really love this. I have not gone back to any other hair um, 
diffuser or in general blow dryer. I really love this one because I feel like I get some really good results. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and jump into diffusing my hair and show you guys all of the techniques that I use to get it to be completely done. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm done diffusing my hair that took about 40 minutes when in reality if I was using a different hair dryer It would just take over an hour, which is not something I like so I really love this diffuser My hair is super defined shiny. Um, I love the curl pattern that I have I don't have as much frizz which is awesome and it's just gonna grow during the week And that is what we love to see so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a oil a hair serum from Moroccan oil I only have this small tester tube that I got from Sephora and I need to get the bigger amount um, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this so I can break some of the casts that the gel put on my hair Obviously, it's day one. So it's not as big, but I'm really loving the definition that I have because Then that just means it's gonna last longer and I don't have to worry about washing my hair again So I'm gonna apply a generous amount and this is kind of what I do every morning when I wake up This helps to kind of get my hair moving and not so flat I don't know if you guys can see, but it already gave it a little bit more volume. So I'm just gonna keep applying more oil, break up some of the curls that are clumped together and just leave it for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow morning, I will go ahead and do the same process, use a pick to go ahead and fluff it up some more. I might continue this video to show you what tomorrow hair will look like. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. But I absolutely am a huge fan of the Dyson Supersonic. I literally am never looking back. It is my holy grail hair dryer and the diffuser and I love that it comes with so many different attachments so I can use it for other types of styling methods for when I want to go ahead and prep it before a protection, uh, protective style or if I want to go ahead and prep it before I go ahead and straighten it. So I hope you guys liked that tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, I go between the second and the first heat setting and I leave it on the first airflow setting so it doesn't go ahead and add too much frizz to my hair. But like I said, I'm gonna check in with you guys tomorrow to show you some of the volume that I have for the next day, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey guys, today is the next day. I went ahead and applied some oil. I'm gonna go ahead and use a pick to go ahead and add some more volume fluff to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my head over, shake it up some more. So that will be my result for the next week. I will apply a hair serum and then I will use the comb to go ahead and add some more volume. I just feel like the Supersonic gave my hair such good definition and I have so much shine to my hair and I didn't experience any type of heat damage by using a higher heat setting. So it's gonna be a really good week because I'll be able to prolong the curls and have it look good each day. If you guys are on the fence about the Supersonic, I know it's a little bit expensive, but I think it's 100% worth it. It is a blow dryer that has so much versatility. So if you guys have any questions on any of the techniques, uh, how I used it, any of the products, please go ahead and ask me down below in the comment section. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.